Welcome back to another legendary location guide here on Borderlands 3. Today I'm going back and I'm going to be showing you guys how I got my legendary pistol called the Devastator. This is a random world drop and I managed to get this from the map, the anvil from the chest for the uh, Typhon Logs dead drop challenge. Um, as soon as I saw, uh, opened it up, I saw on the map, if you look at the mini map, you can see the orange pop up before you can even see it. Very happy about that, just to get it from that chest, that was my first one. But then I got a bit closer to it, and I saw Torque, I saw Pistol, I saw Double Penetrating, and I thought, wow, this is the Borderlands 3 version of the Harold, which of course I used a lot in Borderlands 2. So, it says, uh, hail as the red text, it's got plus weapon fire rate, plus splash damage radius, that's 243 for me, consumes 2 ammo per shot, and has a 1.5 times weapon zoom. Anybody who knows me quite well will know in Borderlands 3, uh, sorry, Borderlands 2, how much I used my uh, Harold with the Gunzerker. Absolutely love it, and this does not disappoint me at all, really. Uh, this was just first trying it out in the uh, anvil map. It just seemed to have a lot of power and a lot of damage It seemed to have a good splash radius as well as it says on the weapons card This thing is powerful very very powerful indeed I may not even have the right setup for it or out like that It could probably be a lot more devastating in the hands of a different character with a better setup, etc but just for uh, playing around with the siren and all this, you can spray this so well. It's uh, not meant to be too accurate, really. That's what the splash damage radius is for. Just aim in the general area of an enemy and just pull the trigger. It's very, very fast firing as well and uh, has multiple projectiles that come out of it. Basically, if you shoot at the feet of someone, that is probably the best way to uh, get some out of this, really, rather than trying to be too precise. You're not going to get many uh, precise headshots or like that. Uh, but with the amount of projectiles that come out of it, if the enemy stays still when you fire it, you probably could get a good critical hit on them. It's pretty much hard to miss. But I'd say the best tactic is to, uh, to aim lower, aim for the feet, make sure it hits that general area of the enemy, get that splash damage, get the maximum out of it that you can. And uh, yeah, all in all, just have a damn good time with it. One of my favourite legendaries so far for sure, so uh, I recommend trying to get this if you can. Like I said, I'm not sure if there's a dedicated loot source for it as of yet. This was a random world drop and a damn good one indeed. It is a second wind machine as well. Just don't stand too close to the projectiles or you will go down very fast because this does hurt you as well. But anyway guys, that is my devastator, my double penetrating devastator as well. Love a bit of that and uh, yeah, really happy that I finally got this. So uh, thank you for watching. Check out the link in the description for the playlist for the, the legendary location guides and I will see you guys in the next one.